expert continues with Brenda Hollingsworth, and uh, we have some more questions that we want to get to. So I do know that Fred is uh, on the line waiting to, uh, to speak with us. So good morning, Fred. Good morning. What's your question for Brenda? The question is basically what my ability is on the cyclist when they cause the accident, and how would a, a driver get reimbursed? Yeah, that, that's a tough one. Uh, first of all, um, you know, don't assume the cyclist is at fault, as I, as I have to tell people all the time. Sometimes cyclists do things that if a uh, car did it, the car would be at fault. But because of that reverse onus in the Highway Traffic Act, it's okay for the cyclist, or the car still has an obligation. Most of the time, did you have a question? No. What? Because I, I'm seeing that, so I, I'm right. seeing, uh, you know, a cyclist running a, a red, you know, thinking that they can make it across, and then a car has to slam on their brakes, and then the car behind them hits them. I mean, you, there are a lot of scenarios sure. that could come out of something like that. Right. And so the bottom line is that if, if a cyclist causes the accident, you're going to have a hard time getting uh, compensation. Like in the scenario that you talk about, right. where uh, a car stops and another car rams into that car that stops for the cyclist, I'm guessing the car that rams into the car that stopped for the cyclist is going to be liable, even though the cyclist was the one who initiated it. Um, you are not likely going to be able to touch the cyclist's car insurance, because he's not in his car, the car's not being operated, um, and uh, there's no cyclist insurance. So, like... Drivers beware, you know, because you are the ones that are responsible and your insurance is going to respond. No matter the situation, it is on the driver of the vehicle well, that, will, that needs to be the most responsible and understand that they are taking the biggest risk when it comes to if there's a lawsuit, if, there, if there's legal action taken. Yeah, that'll that's, come out on them. that's right. So property damage to your car, you're not going to get that from the cyclist. Um, it would be very, very, very difficult to do that. We do have no-fault property damage in Ontario, so your own car insurance is going to cover it. And maybe you'd be able to argue that there should be no deductible because of the cyclist. But um, the rules are different. It, it, it's a, you have to really think it through. Because yeah. there, you, there could be injuries sustained more so on the driver's side if, there, if it was a... If there, were a, there was another accident aside from just the cyclist. Right, but they, but if you take your example of the car that hits from behind, the car that's behind has to be traveling slowly enough and it has to have an adequate distance, right, mm -hmm. so that there is no consequential accident because of something a cyclist does. So drivers, drivers are the ones, I'm not responsible for this, don't blame me for this. No, but drivers are the ones that are most of the time going to be responsible. Okay, well, really good information. Uh, there's a, a couple of things that I do want to get to because I, I saw on the site there's a new uh, there's a new icon there. It's something that you guys are doing. Yeah, so this uh, May had uh, Nurses Week. So for the month of May, we're running a, a contest on our Facebook page and our website, which is askbrenda.ca asking people to nominate Ottawa's favorite nurse. So if you have a story about a nurse that helped you, uh, we'd like to hear it. And we're going to select one at the end of the month, and that person's going to get um, dinner out and also a donation to the charity of his or her choice. So that's, uh, that's the prize, so that's what we're doing. It's interesting because you've dealt with so many patients who've had critical care uh, and yeah. you've come across the nurses and, and the medical We've profession. got some awesome stories, mm -hmm. awesome stories of great nurses' care. Okay, so that's one thing we want to talk, uh, talk about, and there's an expansion for the office. Yeah, so we're very excited. We recently opened a second office. Uh, we have our, down or our West End office on Woodruff, and we're staying there. But we've also opened an office at 304 O'Connor, which is at O'Connor and Lewis. So that's a second downtown office that is partially staffed. It'll be a lot more staffed by the end of the summer. So we can now see people downtown or in the West End, which is great. Well, it's always great. An expansion to be able to see that in, in offices and two different areas of the city. So congratulations yes. oh, on that. Oh, thanks a lot. That's great. We do have to take a break. And, of course, keep in mind, if you're looking to connect with uh, O.J. Hollingsworth, there's the website, www.askbrenda.ca. You can email in uh, your questions uh, because they're always there to be able to take that information and let you know how they can help you. Info at ottawalawfirm.ca. And we have the first address there on Woodruff Avenue. But keep